And um, the reason why we started with that is because weight has been used in our society to invoke feelings, yeah. deep feelings of insecurity. So we live, we live in an Instagram world full of models, right? Yeah. We watch movies full of beautiful movie stars. We're bombarded with commercials that make us feel insecure. Uh, and on top of this, we live in a hypersexualized society that values looking good mm -hmm. way too highly, right? Whatever looking good means. Yeah. Um, the fitness industry, the beauty industry, you know, the modeling, and they all, they've created these standards mm -hmm. that are unattainable yeah. for most of us um, and are actually unattainable even for the models and the movie stars yes. and the <laughs> yes, they you know, are. long term. Yeah. Um, and so it's important to remember that these forms of media, they're trying to get something from you. They're trying to get you to spend money, right? Uh, movies want to have, you know, really fit, good looking movie stars because sex sells and yeah. you are more likely to go watch a movie with good looking people in it, yeah. right? You're gonna spend money on that movie. Instagram uh, models or, or fitness influencers, right? They are trying to sell you their program, yeah. right? And so even if you're not consciously thinking this way, when you look at that Instagram influencer, and again, I'm, I'm sure just saying Instagram fitness influencer, someone has popped into your head, yeah. right? you look at them and you envy the way they, that they look. Yeah. And you think that by taking part in their program, you'll end up looking like them. Mm -hmm. And so basically the point I'm getting at is that you, uh, the, these, all these industries, right, fitness, movie, Hollywood, everything, they are trying to make you feel insecure, right? So that they can sell you something yeah. to supposedly take the pain away. Yes. You know? <laughs> they, they, they create a problem and then they sell you the solution. Exactly. <laughs> and so it's important that you are really careful, uh, that, careful not to let these external media sources mm -hmm. impact your self-esteem. Now, I know it's easier said than done. Uh, yeah. But start bringing awareness to it and, yeah. and you really need to stop uh, comparing yourself to these people that you see that that again, they don't even look like that year round. Nope. Fitness, or uh, excuse me, well, fitness influencers especially, you know, half of them are on yes. gear, but anyway. <laughs> um, movie stars, right, they diet down mm -hmm. and follow these ridiculous, crazy diets and crazy workout routines that aren't sustainable. They don't look like that year round. No. Nope. They, they don't look like that year round. They call it getting down to their movie weight. Getting down to their movie weight, mm -hmm. models. Yeah. Right. Same way. Photo Model, shoot weight. Yeah. Photo shoot. Yep. And then, so not only do they not look like they, that year round, they also have Photoshop. Yeah. Right. Those right. The are photos are enhanced up. even the after all the cellulite. suffering. Yeah. Everything is. <laughs> they, they get rid of everything. And then there's the lighting and the you know the airbrushing and the the spray tans and there's just so much going on there that we don't even know. Yeah. Um, and so comparing yourself to them and thinking that you should look that way is it's just not healthy. 